now in the last lecture uh, we see we, we have seen how to generate uh, an interactive value report right through protector and now in this lecture we will be configuring uh, protector beautiful reporter node package uh, which will actually going to give an output uh, something like this right through the test that we are going to run right so uh, how we actually going to generate it uh, there are easy steps available uh, which i have actually documented over here as well uh, that uh, in order to generate this report you need to install uh, this package so i'm going to copy this and uh, paste it over here right so add it to our dev dependencies and uh, then after this what we need to do is if i go to their uh, web page so this is uh, like the same view of the report that i was showing it to you so the report generation is very simple uh, just you need to copy some dependencies in your config file and on prepare function we need to add uh, uh, a folder where the screenshots uh, has to be uh, generated and uh, that's it uh, this is the code that you need to add and uh, attempt directory screenshot and an object of html report right but uh, before this what we uh, actually need to do we need to add this package and our conf.js file at the very beginning so i'll go over here package added and then uh, we need to copy this code uh, where we are actually generating this report and i'm gonna just, just copy this this much and paste it inside on prepare i'll just comment this is a new report and after this we are generating uh i'll add this thing over here and plus uh we need to add this object as well. And that's it. So only these are the two things that you would be needing in order to generate uh, the beautiful reporter of protector. Now let's run our code once again. So I'll say npm run protector test. and it quits let's refresh our folder and see there's a temp folder generated over here you if you see we have given everything in temp folder so our report is also going to generate inside the temp folder we have screenshot folder in which uh, we will gonna see the screenshots as well as the report.html so just right click uh, reveal in explorer and open this so this is your past test along with the screenshot and this is your fail test along with the screenshot in case you want to see inline screenshots this is how you'll be looking at it and this is your failure stack trace right so this is uh, how it is very simple to generate uh, the protector beautiful report uh, using the plugin that is protector beautiful reporter so this is another interactive report apart from LDO report that we have seen and in the next lecture we're gonna talk about another interactive report that is uh, protector HTML reporter too. All right. Thank you.